could you believe that a young lady would not date me because I told her it's not in my budget? She didn't return a phone call. She ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. So check this out, y'all. Check this out, check this out, check this out. I already have a video out talking about a young lady who wouldn't date me because I don't have a credit score. And I'm not going after ladies. Let me say this right now. But I do have a problem when young ladies try to play your boy. Like, what in the world? So you got, you guys know me, I budget. I budget every single month. At the end of the month, I always, you know, list in my cash flow. Then I also put out what I have going out. Inside of my budget, because I am a single man and I'm dating for a purpose, for marriage, you know, I do have a line item for dates. That line item is not a lot. I'm not going to give you the particular number, but it's not that much. So about a few months ago, I took this young lady out. We went out to dinner. She texted me. She says, hey, first date was cool, but can we go to this particular restaurant next weekend? I didn't respond because I wanted to go home and check my budget and make sure that, okay, I can afford it inside of my budget. So when I go home, I realize it's gonna take me over that particular line item in my budget for dating. So I asked myself, all right, do I tell her the truth? Like, I was thinking about just lying, y'all, to be real. I was gonna be like, can't go, I'm busy. But then you know what, the Holy Spirit said, no, don't lie. Show her the caliber of man that you are. So I sent her a text message that says, hey, unfortunately, I can take you out next weekend, but I can't take you to this particular restaurant because if I do, this will take me over my dating budget for the month. I would be more than happy to budget this in for next month if we are still dating. So I send it and I got an iPhone. And then on the iPhone, y'all know how it happens. When they start typing, that big old bubble come up with a dot, dot, dot. I'm thinking like, okay, cool, we good, we good, we good. Then the dot, dot, dot goes away and nothing comes in. And I'm sitting there, I'm emotionally like, dang, did I just play myself? Dang, did she just play me? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. She didn't return a phone call, she ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? How was she gonna sit here and say, you know what? I can't respond to that because a man's gonna stick to his budget. That's sad. So she seen me on a particular national show. Ain't gonna say who, but she seen me on TV. She sends me a text message and she says, hey, just seen you on such and such. How are you? What about that date? <laughs> I started typing and I really wasn't typing nothing. I just wanted her to see the dot, dot, dot. And I didn't hit send. Because here's the thing, you can't play me and then honestly think I'm gonna come back to you after you've done me like that. What's the whole purpose of this story? My vision for my life and for my money, because I stuck to it, it actually blocked me from dating a particular young lady that probably wasn't healthy for me. So to anyone who's out there dating, when you have a budget, you stick to that budget. Your plan is your pathway to your future. You stick to that plan. You stick to the vision. Where there is no vision, that's where people perish. And I believe when we just go out there and just spin and just spin and let people manipulate us into changing our plan and our vision for our life, things happen. I could have took it to the restaurant. Honestly, I could have took it that next weekend, but I didn't want to change my budget around because at the end of the day, that's what I said I'm going to do. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Let me ask you this question. Was I wrong to not respond to her when she didn't respond to me? Like, I honestly want your opinion. Or was I even wrong to not even take her to that restaurant because it wasn't in my budget? Comment below, let me know. Don't worry about hurting my feelings. If you think I should have took her, tell me. If you think I shouldn't have, tell your boy. Yo, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace out.